Let's have a look at how we can use two variable Carnot maps to simplify a Boolean expression. First of all, looking at the general form of a two variable Carnot map, we might use one of these if, for instance, we had two switches, P and Q, for example. And we want to show every possible combination of these. And each of these switches could be open or closed. So for instance, we could have P, which we represent across, say, one of the rows of the Carnot map for when it is closed, and P bar across the other row for when it is open. Similarly, we could let the different states of Q represent the two columns of the Carnot map. So the first column could be when Q is closed, and the second column Q bar when Q is open. So before we use one of these to simplify, let's see what each of these squares will then represent in this case. And this first square in the first row and first column, for instance, is P and Q, written P, Q. This next one is still in the row for P, but now in the column for Q bar, so P, Q bar. Similarly, down here we have P bar and Q, and the last cell is going to be P bar and Q bar. So let's suppose we wanted to simplify the following expression, X plus X bar Y using a Carnot map. So again, it doesn't matter exactly how I set up the variables, but in each case, one of them should go across the first row, and its negation, X bar, let's say, across the second, while the other variable, Y here, goes in the first column and Y bar in the second, let's say. Now, simplifying X plus X bar Y, let's look at each of these parts in turn. Now, X here is represented by the first row, so I'm going to put ones across the first row, while X bar Y, that is X bar, so it's in the second row, and Y, so it must be in the second row and first column. So that's X bar Y there. And everything else I have not included here, I will put with a zero. And now we look for squares of ones. And if all of the four squares were a one, we would circle all of them, and the circuit would just be equal to one. But here, since all four are not one, we look for any two squares of ones. And two squares in a two variable Carnot map could be across a row, such as here, or down a column of ones, such as here. And it is okay if they overlap. The main thing is to cover it with large squares of ones, where two squares are preferred where possible here. So finally, we write down our simplified expression, and that green square in the first row is always in X, whereas it is in both, part of it's in Y, part of it is in Y bar. So therefore, that can only be expressed in terms of X. So this is X or, which is a plus, and going down the first column, that is Y. So therefore, this circuit X plus X bar Y simplifies from the Carnot map to be X plus Y. So now let's look at an example that follows on from this one. Simplifying X plus X bar Y, the negation of that, so that with a bar over the top using a Carnot map. And here is the Carnot map we drew at the previous example, which was for the expression underneath that bar, namely for just X plus X bar Y. Now the bar over the top means we want a circuit that is open when X plus X bar Y is closed and closed when it is open. So we can actually stay with the Carnot map we found before, but now look for squares of zeros to simplify this. And clearly here we cannot get any two squares of zeros because there's only one zero in the whole map. So that zero there will in fact be our simplified expression. And what does that zero represent? Well, 
it's in the column for Y bar and it's in the row for X bar. So therefore our simplified expression just becomes X bar and Y bar or X bar, Y bar in this case.